welcome to the 2013 Nobel Week Dialogue. I don't think that ever before have such an extraordinary group of experts from across the science and society interface been gathered together to discuss the future of energy in a meeting that is free, that's open to anybody to attend. Alfred Nobel, he had higher ambitions for his prize. As he put it, he wanted the prizes to be for the greatest benefit of mankind. I think what is so healthy with the discussion we're having here today is that we meet at a time where the science is totally unequivocal. All the cards are on the table. I think this is important because for, first of all the Nobel laureates are saying something on the energy issues which I feel that will have more impact. It's a quite interesting experiment to have this critical mass of laureates together. I'm almost thinking that they might disappear in a black hole. I should say that uh, I don't think we will need fission uh, by the end of this century. So I value the mix of people very much. We have, we have had people from companies and we have high level scientists and what I also value now when we talk about energy very much that we have to get economy in and that was very good that we could. The largest enemy of innovation is monopoly. This is, extends what the Nobel Prize is about, which is, is a celebration of science and, and ultimately how science can be useful for society. It's, it's a luxury to have all these people that have uh, so much knowledge come together. China, in 11 years of time, brought electricity to 500 million people. Now, is that a good thing or a bad thing? So let, let, let's discuss on that. And a very good audience asking good questions was fantastic. If the developing world comes up to the same standard of, of living as you know, Western Europe, by 2050 we would need seven planets to sustain that. You have to look for new things. You don't know where they come from. Basic research is extremely important. There is absolutely no way that you can predict tomorrow's technology. I mean, it's always interesting to hear, hear more from the company's perspectives. What do you think about shale gas as an option for Europe? How can uh, nuclear power help in a safer ecosystem? What impact do you see fossil fuel dependence have on energy security? In a democracy, I believe that unless you inform the public, you're really not going to provide a basis for policymakers to take initiative. With today's technologies, we can deliver transformational change to poor communities and poor families. We can do it, but it's a challenge and it's one that's going to take us all.